post the meme, hey, when they be like <laughs> coming in the room and she's like, hey. I know it's been forever. Like, I know that. And you know, I think the biggest thing with YouTube is being consistent, but also not worrying about like your views when you're first getting started. So here we are in December, 2022, and I am just being really committed to myself. One, because I love this. I love to vlog, I love to like talk, and communicate with my internet family cousins bffs and for people to see like my life i absolutely love that a day in the life i enjoy this it's also difficult when you're not getting paid no sponsorships like this is all a hobby right now so i am just committing to me and i'm also making a commitment to you guys with being consistent with putting out like more vlogs and things that I enjoy. So y'all hang in there with me, I love it. I'm um, coming up, you're gonna see me posting a lot of like shorts because these are videos that I have made other places like Instagram, TikTok, whatever the case may be. And I just haven't uploaded it to YouTube. Like why? Why haven't I done that? I don't know. In my own way. So I'm just like really, really seeing how I want 2023 to look. And it's you and me, baby. We here. I've been doing Vlogmas on TikTok and uh, my reviews are okay. I don't know what it is, but sometimes I get on these algorithms and these apps and I get stuck in a place. Other things on my mind. Men, like y'all. 2022, I was in a whole situation ship. It didn't work out. Here we are, 2023, sir, come find me. I'm looking to move because I feel like my dating pool here is depleted. I don't like none of these men. And I think I just have like so many bad memories in my area of like, a lot of the men that I have been in real relationships with, situationships with, dating, and I know men around the world are trash. So please don't be in the comments like, girl, don't move here. Don't move here. Like, I know that, okay? However, I haven't met those trash men yet. <laughs> and I hope that I don't because, no. I don't want to. Most recently, after the whole situation with the man I fell in love with and had to get over, I started talking to another guy who wanted to spend a block. When I say y'all blew my phone back, blue, and then sent me some crazy text messages today. And I was like, what? I don't know. Also, like, I'm just trying to catch y'all up. Just trying to catch y'all up with my life. I am writing a dissertation. I am completing my program of Doctor of Health Science. That takes a lot of my time. That is my number one priority. Number one priority, I'm at the finish line and y'all know how that goes. At the end, you lose momentum and with the dissertation, you're at a self pace, okay? So it's not like you have a discussion board due on, on Sunday or you have a quiz on Wednesday. It's not like that. It's like, okay, you submit your chapters to your committee, they review it, you make adjustments and then you move on to the next chapter. And it's just a lot. I absolutely hate that I told people that I was in a doctoral program because people always ask me, when are you going to be done? I wish I could give you that answer. Like, it's very difficult and I'm just trying to stay motivated. But when people put that timeline on me, it, it gives me anxiety. It doesn't make me feel good. And I hate that we are like that as like a community. Well, when, when are you going to get done? Like, I don't know. Like, I'm doing the best that I can. And I know that is not like the intention behind people asking me that. That's just what they ask because they're like, oh, you know, when you graduate, when are you graduating? But, you know, with this type of degree, it's just a lot more that comes into it and a lot of people just don't understand that 
and also trying to maintain like a social life trying to maintain like your responsibilities and priorities. I also still am working because I have not met a rich man that told me, go ahead and finish your degree, I got you and I'll pay all the bills, okay? I'll pay the mortgage. I'll take care of your rent. No, I, I haven't met him yet. So I have to do all this by myself in addition to. So that has been very challenging, but that is my number one priority. I actually just completed my FAFSA and I see how many student loans I have, I'm done. Like, I'm going to be done. This is it. I'm not asking for no more money. <laughs> so, go ahead and hand me the degree. Thank you. Call me Dr. Fancy today. Now. <laughs> I have to let y'all know, like, if I'm going to upload, like, on Sundays or what days I'm going to upload. And I don't want to take off too much, more than I can chew, pretty much. Because my dissertation is my number one priority like i think my friends can even see that like i'm backing out of things i'm not doing things like what do you do what are you doing on saturday why don't you go that's here baby i'm going home to write i'll be back with y'all in about three months okay so yeah i'm at a place of elevation right now in isolation but i would love to i still do things so I'm gonna bring you guys along. Some things that I'm not ever going to do is show y'all my job. I literally watched a TikTok where people were at their job giving their icks and all of them got fired. Like how embarrassing, embarrassing. <laughs> what did the lady say? Embarrassing. To go home to your man, your husband, your partner, whoever, and say, I got fired today because I made a TikTok. Yeah, I. this is my livelihood, I depend on me. So my job is separate from this, okay? Just know I'm gainfully employed and I take care of my business. Other things is mental health. I am currently looking for a therapist, a black therapist. I had a really, really good therapist, but she's in a different city than me and I don't want to go over there all the time. <laughs> But because she was so good, I'm thinking about doing virtual. But I feel like with virtual, the communication was just a little different. Like, she would talk and then sometimes she wouldn't hear me talk. Y'all know like technical things. And it's my session. What a time limit. I'm not opposed to it though. Because I love her. Like, she's so good. She made me feel better. She had me put things in perspective. She made me do the work. Hold myself accountable. And that is what I need. Like, I'm in a space where I need that type of support. I want a therapist. And mostly it's because these men will try to drag you down to the pits of hell where they are at. And I refuse to go there. Like, and ladies, listen to me, okay? If a man ever tries you like that, just know it's not you. Don't let these men change you. Don't let these men change you. And I'm so... I'm being so serious with that. Like, I know that it's very difficult when you invest so much in these relationships and then you're disappointed and then you start focusing on you. Like, what could I have done different? Da, da, da. A lot of these men got a lot going on outside of you before they met you. Now you're invested and it just becomes a big old mess. And that is why I'm going to therapy because it's like, I know who I am. I will never give a man my power ever again. Understand. It is not you, okay? <laughs> Do the work. Make sure you're on top of your shit, okay? You're loving you. That's the point right there. Because when you love you, you know who love you back. You know, and the biggest thing right now that they, they talk about with the men is like, you know, ladies pick better. How can we pick better when these men show us this for a long period of time, right? I'm talking about a year plus. And then they do some dumb shit like this. Like, how do we know? I am not going to go back in a cocoon and be like, I need to go heal. And I don't want to get back out here because X, Y, and Z. Like, I'm not doing that. Like, I have healed. I have done the work. And I'm going to continue to evolve. And I'm going to date. Like, I'm going to meet my person. Maybe not here in the city. But <laughs> I will meet him. And you're not going to take that away from me. The pits of hell. I'm not going with you. And then sometimes you have to recognize that too. Like your light is just so bright. You're shining brighter than the man that you wanted to be with. So 
you know, I think 2022 just showed me like rejection is okay. Like it sucks, but rejection is God's protection. I am a true believer in that. And if you think that man got away scot-free, I promise you he didn't. I promise you. You think, you think he left you and went to the next woman and did a whole 360? No, he's still that no good mother. Y'all, this is not what this video is supposed to be about. But since I started talking about it, I just like start talking about it. So guys, I think I've caught you up with the main points. And of course, as I continue to make videos, I will continue to add other inputs of things that are going on in my life. I hope you all are well, and I hope you all are getting ready for this upcoming holiday. And I will see y'all on the next video.